Yo, yo, what's going on, y'all? I have a revelation coming from Holy Spirit. But before we get into the revelation, let's get into some prayer. I am that I am, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and my Holy Spirit. We come before you humbly submitting ourselves. Father, I come before you humbly submitting myself to you as a vessel for your children. Father, I ask that you pour into me so that I can pour out into your children. Father, I ask that you allow me to be a mouthpiece from heaven to earth. Father, I ask you to cleanse me of anything impure, Father, and make everything that comes out of my mouth righteous and good. For I know it's through you that all things are possible. Father, I ask that you use your mighty hand in the lives of your children who are pure at heart, Father. I ask that you protect them with Psalms 91 protection. Father, I ask that you show them your unconditional love, forgiveness, mercy, and grace for the things that they are suffering and toiling in their lives, Father. Father, I ask that you provide them a new way, a new path, a new vision. Father, I ask that you give them light, Father, in a dark place. Father, I ask that you reveal yourselves to those who want to know you. For those who are seeking your word pure at heart, Father, I ask that you give them revelation. In Jesus' mighty name, for we know it's through you that all things are possible. Father, I ask that you protect your messenger, you protect your message, and those children connected to your ministry. Father, I ask that you extend the blood of Jesus to those children that are connected to your ministry, to your child who is delivering the message, Father, and to, and to cover the message that is being delivered. Father, I ask that you extend that blood of Jesus to their homes and to their mothers and fathers in Jesus' mighty name. For we know it's through you, Father, that all things are possible. Father, allow us not to be led astray, but divinely guided by your word and in your footsteps and your provision. For, Father, we know it's through Jesus' name and through his blood that we are saved and cleansed and allowed to live again and enter into the kingdom of heaven. Father, we ask that you reveal your son to the children of God, to those who appear at heart. Let them see him, let them feel him, let them experience him and, th him and have a relationship with him. And Holy Spirit, in Jesus' mighty name, for we know it's to you that all things are possible, Father. Reach out to your children. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Okay, so the revelation that Holy Spirit gave me is coming from Isaiah chapter 32, verses 9 and 10. Rise up. You women who are at ease, hear my voice, you complacent daughters. Give ear to my speech. In little more than a year, you will shudder, you complacent women, for the grape harvest fails. The harvest, the fruit harvest will not come. So the father is saying, there is someone who is complacent. And it doesn't have to be just a woman, but it could very, very well be a woman but whoever the father is speaking of this person is complacent and to be complacent means that this person is showing excessive pride and to have excessive pride 333 means that this person is over the top with their pride this is a very prideful person this is a person who boasts and boosts only of themselves and the things that they do. Anything that goes on around them that is good, it happens because of them and their presence and what they had to offer. This is someone who is over the top prideful in their own achievements and they are smug. They have a smug attitude. Like the Holy Spirit led me to say, this is someone who feels like anything that happens around them that's good is because they were around. Even if they didn't have a hand in anything, even if they didn't say anything, even if they didn't do anything, they feel like it happened just because they were present. You were blessed just by their presence. This is how excessive and over the top this person's attitude is with themselves, 444. This is the type of attitude that this person has about themselves. To be complacent also means that this person has that type of attitude where they don't care 
who they support. I mean, they don't care who supports them. They don't care if the person is good or bad as long as the person supports and believes in them and what they say. When it comes to their own personal achievements and goals. They don't care if it is an evil person that is supporting them. As long as that person, as long as that evil person is supporting them and believing them and helping them to achieve their goal, they don't care. Because all they care about is the end goal and that's what it makes them look like. What are they going to achieve out of it? Okay. And in verse 10, it says, In little more than a year, you will shudder, you complacent women, for the grapes, for the grape harvest fails, and the fruit harvest will not come. And to shudder means to make shake, tremble, or quiver with fear, horror, or coldness. And the father is saying you will be in fear because the things that you are working on, whatever it is that you are working on, whatever seeds it is that you are planting, whatever you expect to see some type of harvest or benefit from by this time next year or maybe a little couple of months added on September, no, November, December, maybe you're expecting to see something happen from the seeds that you have planted whether these seeds are good or bad. And from um, the sounds of things with the, as prideful as you are, this may be a seed that you are planting that is not even a good seed. And the father is saying, by this time next year, a little more, add on a couple of months by this time next year add on a couple of months like September, November, December you will see that all the things that you have been working hard to achieve all the seeds that you have been planting that you are doing right now and expecting to see the harvest of next year whatever it is whatever it may be the father is saying those things are going to fail and to fail means to have a lack of his success to be defeated non-fulfillment fizzling out let down dead duck lemon and the father says this is a warning of disaster the father is saying that your complacent attitude is going to cause you disaster okay and the warning is to give someone an advance notice about something information about possible danger or trouble that's what a warning is so the father is saying he is giving you a warning he is giving you an advance notice that what your your the type of attitude that you have that's in the seeds that you are planting this is going to cause you possible danger or trouble. And it is going to lead to disaster. And disaster is a sudden or great misfortune. It can also be a sudden event that causes great damage or a loss of life. A disaster is also an accident, a natural catastrophe that can cause great damage or a loss of life. So the father is saying, your complacent attitude, you being so prideful, you taking so much pride in whatever it is that you're doing, whatever seeds that you are planting. The father is saying, you're taking a lot of pride in the seeds that you are planting. Planting. I said the seeds you are planting and the things you are planting. You're taking a lot of pride in the things that you are planting. And 
you don't care who supports this plan. You don't care whether they're good, bad, or indifferent. You will you will accept evil support as long as they believe you and they support your plan and your outcome and your own personal achievement. What you want, as long as they support the end goal of what you want, you don't care who they are or what they believe. You just want what you want to come into fruition. You want that thing to happen. And you are taking a lot of pride in achieving this thing. And the father is saying, you're going to see, this is your warning right now that whatever you're planning, whatever you're devising, whatever you're taking a lot of pride in, this is your warning that this could cause you a lot of danger and trouble. Sudden great misfortune, whether it is an accident or a natural cat catastrophe. This is something that it could even cause you your life if you are not careful. If it doesn't, 11-11. If it does not cost you your life, it could cause you great damage and or great misfortune. But the Father is warning you that whatever you're planning and whoever you're trying to get involved with you to help with this plan, the Father says he's warning you that this is going to, your, your attitude, your plan is going to get you into trouble. It's going to lead you into danger. And the Father just wants you to know that. And this is your warning. And that's the message. Peace.